okay hi everyone so today let's uh, discuss this interesting problem so it says a small block of mass 100 gram is pressed against a horizontal spring fixed at one end to compress the spring through 5 centimeter the spring constant is 100 newton per meter when released the block moves horizontally till it leaves the spring where will it hit the ground 2 meter below the spring fine so is tarah se dekho everything is given mass of the block they rakha hai 100 gram spring constant they rakha hai 100 newton per meter height they rakha hai that is 2 meter you ju uh, you just have to find out the horizontal distance ki kitne distance pe ye block ground ko hit karega so let's say this is x so you have to find out the value of x so ye dekho kafi simple hai projectile motion ka problem hai if uh, you somehow can find out the speed with which the block will leave the spring kitni speed se ye jo block hai is spring ko leave karega right what will be the speed of the block when it will lose the contact with the spring then uh, the problem is solved right so how to find out the speed of the block when it will uh, you know leave the spring simple hai aap mechanical energy conserve kar do mechanical energy of the block plus spring system ise aapko as a system treat karna hai so only forces acting that is spring force right so we can conserve the mechanical energy initial mechanical energy is equal to final mechanical energy and mechanical energy mein kya kya aayega potential energy plus kinetic energy right initial is equal to final u final plus k final abhi initial potential energy kitna hoga initially uh, the spring was compressed by 5 cm so half of k is 100 into uh, what was the compression in the spring that was 0.05 ka square plus initial kinetic was uh, zero because initially the block was at rest is equal to final potential ki agar hum baat kare so final potential will be zero because the spring will be in its natural length final kinetic will be half of mass is 0.1 into v square right uh, the uh, speed of the block will be v so you have to find out the value of v so yahan se v nikal lo half uh, ye cancel ho gaya 0.1 ye 1000 ho gaya right uh, into 0.0 ek minute uh, kitna aa raha hai 25 upon 10 is to the power 4 so 1 2 3 3 so, so 2.5 ka root under root 2.5 this is the speed with which the block will lose the contact with the spring नाउ ये जो स्पीड है ये हॉरिजॉन्टल डायरेक्शन में कॉन्स्टेंट रहेगी बिकॉज एक्जेलरेशन ऑफ द ब्लॉक इन द हॉरिजॉन्टल डायरेक्शन विल बी जीरो वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन में ब्लॉक का एक्जेलरेशन होगा दैट इज ए वाई दैट इज इक्वल टू जी नाउ टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट हम निकाल लेते हैं फ्रॉम वाई डायरेक्शन राइट वाई डायरेक्शन से टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट आ जाएगा कैसे निकालेंगे वाई डायरेक्शन में वी नो द डिसमेंट राइट एस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ ऑफ ए टी स्क्वायर यूज करो डिसमेंट इन द वाई डायरेक्शन इज टू इनिशियल स्पीड इन द वाई डायरेक्शन जीरो सो यू टी जीरो हो गया हाफ ऑफ एक्जेलरेशन विल बी जी इन टी स्क्वायर so from here you will get uh, the time of flight which is 4 by uh, g ka root g kitna aa raha hai 4 upon 9.8 ka root so you can find out the value of time of flight now uh, what will be the horizontal displacement of the block horizontal direction mein speed constant hai so simply that is uh, the distance traveled by the block in the horizontal direction with a constant speed in time t is equal to uh, uh, this time 4 by 9.8 ka root so simply uh, speed into time so kitna aayega under root 2.5 into under root 4 by 9.8 so ye value nikal lena वैसे देखो 2.5 into 4 kitna ho gaya uh, uh 4 10 ho gaya ye right so ye approximate 1 aayega shayad ek baar check kar lena if you take the value of g as 10 right so i think it should be 1 meter Fine so let me know if you still have any confusion we can discuss further okay guys keep working out best of luck bye